Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about what's going on in the Bitcoin chart today. And as well this last weekend, I was not able to get to the computer and make a video, but uh, that's all right. We had some price action to form and stuff like that. I believe in my last video, I had pointed out this purple ascending uh, parallel channel and how I believe that it was going to be a thing and that we might be gearing up to test uh, for a third touch point at the top of this purple channel. And I believe I pointed out this line that we did break this little bit of a downtrend here. And the fact that we broke that after retesting for another touch point on the bottom of this channel, I was willing to uh, put a little weight behind that theory. Um, I want to zoom in now to the 15 minute chart to see uh, the more recent price action. I actually thought I made a video about this and I totally did not. But what I did do is on uh, my trade view, I did publish this triangle as a potential uh, trade setup in either direction, uh, just as more of a short term snipe. Uh, so if that's the kind of thing you guys are interested in, I can't always get to the make these videos, which is why I've mentioned I want to start a Telegram channel or something like that. But for the time being, uh, you might want to follow me on TradeView. Uh, I have the same name, it's StuTube Trading, all one word. Uh, but sometimes when I don't have time to make a video, I do have time to just post a theory quick. Um, so once in a while, you might be able to catch on something nice there, like this triangle that I pointed out. <clears throat> um, as you can see, I did also point it out on our group chat on WhatsApp too. But, uh, Anyways, I did point out this triangle here as a potential descending triangle, which would typically be bearish. And actually, when I posted the picture, I believe we were somewhere in this general area. So it was um, before this wick happened here. But you can go back and look at my post. I did leave a comment after this wick happened, and I said I was not entering a trade yet because I believe even in the description of my post, I had said I'm waiting for a 15-minute close. You can see we have the break in both directions in one candle, but neither of them actually closed. So I was just going to hang on and wait a little bit. Here you can see that we start actually closing candles to the upside. And typically a descending triangle like this would break to the downside. But since you guys know I've been playing with the bullish bias lately, um, I was not willing to rule out a move to the upside, so I was waiting to see which direction we were going to go to decide which way to play it. So, obviously, I decided to look at things from a long perspective. And here you can see that we retested this triangle perfectly. You can see it kind of looked like we were going to have a bit of a fake out, but right here we just clustered right at that support and it could not be broken, so we burst it up to the upside. And that's kind of what we're seeing today. We are seeing a bunch of uh, a decent amount of price action since we tested that. Uh, I mean, that's a five and a half percent move from where my triangle was retested to where it topped out. And actually, look where it topped out. Um, if you guys watch some of my previous videos, that line has been there for a while. And I'm actually curious to see where it came from because I don't remember. If I go to the one hour chart, uh, I better go to the four hour chart here just to make it a little. Oh, yeah. So, all I did was I connected these very two tops of uh, two top wicks. Since we have retested that parallel channel again, I wanted to find a pattern inside that pattern. So, yeah, right now, perfectly respecting it. Um, I'm just going to clean things up a little bit. Um, yeah, so far we did get a third touch point on that potential resistance line, so I did take out some more profits. Um, I took profits earlier at just under 9600 because we had this horizontal resistance potentially, and then took some more uh, just below this red line because, again, it's one of my trend lines and I trust it. So I have a quarter of my position remaining yet, so yeah, it's been an interesting day. Great pattern. Uh, good trade and that's the kind of thing I want to share if I start a trade alert group uh, someday. What I'm looking for now is I want to start seeing some closes above this red line but I would ideally like to see 
now that we've tested it again, I don't want to just break through right away because that would only have our two touch points on that line. Although not saying it has to be a fake out in that case, but it's just I like patterns to have three touch points more so. Uh, so what I would like is now get a bit of a pullback and test it again and then get above and then got our uh, new support flip even higher up just like what we did down here. So those are kind of some things that I am looking at right now. Um, obviously, this could change at any time, and my, bull my bullish bias could turn bearish very quickly if we start forming some sort of a double top here and actually break this purple line and have a resist flip, so the opposite of what's been happening. Then obviously I'm going to start looking at it a little more bearishly, but right now, um, things are still going exactly as I've been predicting, and you guys who have been following along, if I go to my weekly chart here, um, I mean, I was predicting, I think we were somewhere down here, and I was thinking we were going to fight with this white resistance line here a little bit, and I said that if we broke it, I didn't think we would break the top white line immediately. I thought that we were going to coil up between or uh, bounce around ping pong between these white lines for a little bit before getting our break above retest and especially if we get above this purple uh, horizontal resistance I think that's where if we get a retest of that uh, being that would be finally setting a new macro higher high above these highs back here and here obviously a level of interest so once we start breaking that, that's when we can start looking at uh, my target of taking the full triangle move, which would be up between twenty-seven and twenty-eight thousand dollars. And you guys know I've pointed this out many times that that would be the measured move of this triangle that's been forming since July of twenty seventeen. Um, to me, this trading range looks an awful lot like this sort of consolidation, and I mean. Oops, sorry guys. And you can see how that ended up playing out, and I think that's the kind of move we could potentially be gearing up for, even if it doesn't play out really quickly. Um, that's only if FOMO really kicks in, uh, short squeezes, that kind of stuff. But even if that takes months, which is more so what I would be expecting, and that's a big if we break out of this pattern, guys. Um, if we drop this white line down here below us, then I think we are going to be retesting down closer to the 4,000 region. Of course, guys, none of this is financial advice. These are only my own opinions and how I'm looking at the market currently. Uh, my analysis can change very quickly. <laughs> this is a high-risk uh, trading environment. Always do your own research. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, take a zoom into the four-hour yet. Just one more bullish pattern that uh, <clears throat> played out is just kind of like the triangle that I showed you guys earlier, but that was a 15-minute chart. This is a four-hour chart. Um, it's not as perfect. Like, there is some wicks above, so, well, actually, that would probably still work out. Yeah, I mean, you guys can see that. Either way, it is a beautiful wedge, and we had a perfect support flip just like how the other triangle looks so I mean if this four hour chart starts to look like that 15 minute chart well you guys see what's potentially in store here uh, what I am watching now on a shorter time frame is I'm watching this green line I'm hoping that if we just keep bouncing along that green line that um, I'm gonna remain bullish once we drop this green line, and if we get some sort of a retest that looks like a uh, bit of a resist flip, then I might be a little more bearish. But even if that being said, if we drop that, I'm not positive I would take a short because I am trading with such a strong bullish bias right now. Um, I think I would more so be looking for some sort of a falling wedge to form and get back into a long position, kind of like what I did here. So anyways, guys, that's kind of what I'm looking at in the market right now. I just thought I'd share a couple of ideas and kind of show you what's been going on, what kind of a pattern happened, why we're going up so fast today. And uh, yeah, with that, I am out. Stay safe out there, friends. Peace.